got one. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Oh! Look at this. Slippery. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll come out every morning and clean out the frogs. Save them. They can't be in the pool because of the chlorine. So. His little feet. Little feet. That. So cool. See, this one's skin's already kind of turning from the chlorine. He's a, sc a scrappy one. Now we get to work. So we just wrapped up some bookkeeping work. Now it's time to go um, do something that I really like to do as much as I can. Um, I don't spend too much money doing it, but like when I see things that I know that I can donate, I like to donate to the SPCA. My dog can get pretty picky with his food, so I'll take the food that he doesn't eat. Um, or if you're dating someone and they have pets and their pets don't like things, then you can take their stuff. So. Wyatt doesn't like this stuff, so I'm gonna take that blanket and some leftover food to the SPCA. They close at 6, so I'm waiting for my boss to get back to me. I'll just shoot right over there. Luckily, it's right in New Hope, which is nice. <laughs> Certain people might think, why are you putting this on the internet, right? Why are you... Are you seeking praise, um, things like that? And it, that's obviously not the case. It's more, when people see things, they're, I think they're more likely to do it, right? If you see someone stick up for someone in a case of bullying, if you see someone stand up against racism, I think it's important to lead by example, and that's why I do what I do. It's easy, it's so easy. And it's easier for me than I'm sure it is for some because it's literally right by my house. But um, I think that if you can, you should, and I can, so I do. I think most people can. I think people don't realize how much they can. Um, so yeah. It's super easy, and the thing is too, you get a receipt. They'll give you a receipt for what you donate, and you can, it's a tax write-off. SPCI is a, um, oh, I forget now. It's a, it's, it's recognized by the IRS. It's, it used to be 3013C something like that designation <laughs> a couple weeks away and I already I already lost it 501c3 designation okay I was close 501c3 designation I'm not saying that you should do that I'm just saying that you can if it's an incentive for you it's an incentive for you oh there's a deer it's weird is that, is bedded, is that bedded down over there it, it, it isn't <laughs> but um yeah, so support the local SPCA near you. I don't know if they're going to be cool with me filming in there. Maybe I can call ahead and ask. Okay, got my stuff. Smoke-free facility, guys. No smoking. Yes, you are. Hey, pup. How you doing? up, aren't you?
and have some dogs. He's got his own little, his own little private room here. Think about what you did so that you can come join the rest of the fam, okay? So I ran into Cindy and um, she's gonna talk to you guys real quick. So Cindy, if you don't mind, um, what are, like how does donating to the SPCA help the organization and what, how do the resources get utilized and yeah. and what can people do to, to help That's the SPCA? That's a great question, Tyler. Um, we are a nonprofit organization, like you said, we're community supported. So a lot of people think if you give to like the national organizations, it helps animals here in Bucks County. It doesn't really trickle down. We are supported by local people in this community who care about animals financially. Obviously we need finances to pay for the big things like food and medicine and surgery and equipment and staff. But people can also give by, um, you know, looking at a big wish list on our website, you know, if they want to donate toys or dog food or cat food or whatever it is that they're interested in. Maybe it's supplies for small animals. Um, another way that people can help is clean out your linen closet at home. Um, you know, everybody has old towels or sheets. We use those in so many ways. Um, when animals come out of surgery, they get laid on a little cozy towel while they're waking up and recovering. We bathe a lot of animals. We use towels and things in like the cat catios to make them nice and soft and cozy. So you can donate clean old towels and linens and they can, you know, keep it out of the dumpster and we'll put it to use here for the animals. Um, there's all kinds of other supplies and things that we can use to help the animals. So it takes a community, you know, to, to make it possible. For sure, for sure. Thank you so much. And um, another real quick question that I was always curious about actually is um, the dog room is right there and all the time I would go into there and I would see this kennel sponsored by so and so. Yeah. Um, so what can you talk to me a little bit about that or? Yeah, that's that's a program that you know um, kind of predated me. It's not something we're we're um, you know running with fully right now. But in the past there have been people that you know wanted to uh, remember a pet um, and they would do that by making a gift to sponsor that kennel for a period of time. And so it was a donation made and you know just another way, another opportunity for people. Um, to make a gift. A lot of people make a, a gift in memory of, you know, a, a beloved person or somebody's birthday and then we get a lot of gifts in memory of pets because, you know, obviously pets mean a lot to us. They're family members and so um, we receive a lot of um, really neat gifts and little notes about pets and how, how much they've changed people's lives. So that's part of that. Okay, yeah, great. Thank you so yeah, much. Absolutely. It was a pleasure speaking yeah, with you. I've got my card here. Um, shoot me an email with a link to your YouTube channel. I will. You? I will Love for to sure. Check it out. Yeah, no thanks problem. For hey, thanks for everything that you do. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Good. And you have Morty, you know this story? Uh, this story? No. Yeah. yeah. Morty, I call him our sort of uh, unofficial spokes cat, mm -hmm. our, our shelter pet ambassador. Morty came to us about 13, 14 years ago from one of the biggest um, animal cruelty cases one of the biggest hoarding cases we had. Um, all the other animals got adopted out and he was just pretty shut down in the back of the shelter for a couple of years actually. And then one day he came walking out and now he just loves to greet people, sit in people's laps. He, he gets in a, you know, a lot of photo ops and things. And uh, yeah, he's just a fixture here. There is. Hi. Hi, Puffer. Hi.
can, well, I'm sure someone will come scoop you up real quick. All right, guys. Well, I hope um, you got something from this. It was so nice of Cindy to come speak with us and uh, come check it out. Come, come. It's really important to me.